Hello, my friends. Jacob is here once again. Thank you for pressing play. What am I talking about NBA 2K21 for? Am I some video game guy that's playing video game? No, that's not me. That's not me. But Danny H. That's right. Another one of you. One of you in the comments section. Just like last week, Big D uh, shared this amazing, amazing insight with me. And then a beautiful video comes out of it. And then Danny H. this week shares this comment. Not sure if this is something you'd normally cover, but you should look into the new NBA 2K21 trailer. Lots of astrological symbolism in there if you watch it frame by frame. It's a huge game. NBA 2K21. It's a huge game. NBA 2K, Every my, my boys play it. Noah Anthony and, and Ethan play it. Ethan's really good at it. He's really good at basketball. He's like the best. Like the best eight-year-old basketball player I know. He knows everything about basketball. He's a little genius, you know? He's going to come on the show in a little while, and he's going well, to talk about Zion Williamson, who gets the cover this year of the NBA game. Why am I talking about this, right? I didn't think it was a big deal, but Danny sent me this video. He said, hey, you got to check this out. Now, ironically, his comment appeared right below Big D's comment. I think that that's pretty cool. A little confirmation of sorts that maybe I should have paid attention to it. So I did. I watched the trailer to this video. And I got to tell you, when you when you get done watching this show today, you're going to say, what, what, what the heck is going on? Like, what the heck is all this spiritual and metaphysical and, like, just uh, incredibly weird stuff doing in an NBA 2K21 game? Jacob's Ladder doing in that video at the very, very end. There's this last screen. That was the thumbnail I used. I'm going to explain this to you. And, it, and I got to tell you, it shocked me. It shocked me, the stuff that's hidden in these, these trailers. It's, it's beyond me. But it has a message that I promise is going to encourage all of you and wake you up to more. So I hope you buckled up. Zion is, uh, it's, it's the name of the city of God. It's written in the book of Revelation as well as other books. It's the 144,000 that God comes upon. in the book of, of Revelation chapter 14, the lamb and the 144,000. Then I looked and before me there was a lamb standing on Mount Zion. That's right, Zion is also a mountain, but it's the mountain of God. It's the God, it's the mountain that we're all supposed to go to. A mountain is pretty high up, right? It's above the clouds. It's the highest you can get into the heavens. Get me? It's like spiritually significant. Gotta go to the mountain. Just like Moses went to the mountain, just like Jesus went to the mountain. Gotta go to the mountain. And with him, this is in Zion, were 144,000 who had his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. The forehead is your forwardmost thought. The name means the nature. So this 144,000, which I believe is a symbolic number. I don't think it's a literal number. Maybe it is. I don't know. But this is Zion. This is, this is, this is what we've been talking about on the channel. The, the last couple of videos about Christ in you, about uh, Jonah, about Noah, all these things that we've been talking about, about this day with this great awakening that's going to take place where you will know as you are known, as written in scripture, Zion, that's the place, that's the place. That's, that's where it happens. And I heard a sound from heaven like the roar of rushing waters, like the peal of thunder. The sound I heard was like that of harpists playing their harps. And they sang a new song. 
The harp, by the way, is a symbol of joy. That new song is a song that nobody's been singing. It's a time to be happy. It's a time to rejoice even when the world is suffering and struggling. So, when this trailer came out for the NBA 2K21 uh, game, and I watched it, first of all, there was so much weird stuff in it. Like just one thing after another, like this. And like this. And like this. And what are the pyramids doing there, right? They got the pyramids there. Easter Island. A lot of weird, significant stuff. In an NBA 2K21 trailer? I don't know. But for you basketball fans, let's bring on the expert. Come on, E. There we go. This is my man, Ethan. Say hi, E. Hi. He's eight. If you've been on the channel a long time, you know that this guy has a channel himself. He's awesome. All right, so who is Zion? Uh, he's a basketball player for the Pelicans. He's six foot six, and he plays power forward in their starting lineup. Okay, okay, so he's six foot six. Is he a big guy? Yeah, he's 280 pounds. Wow. You know, he actually, I heard that during, um, during this lockdown that he's been like getting ripped in shape and he like lost 20 pounds and like put on like 10 pounds of muscle and he looks like jacked right now. The, uh, the Pelicans, I think they uh, they put out a picture on Twitter or something. Like, he doesn't have Twitter, he's eight. So what do you think of Zion? Tell everybody what you think of Zion. Is he a good player? Yeah, he might. He's probably going to become a Hall of Famer player or unless like injury, injuries uh, yeah. go to him. You know, the, tell me about his uh, when he came out, when he started. We watched his first game, right? Where everybody was yeah. in the stands watching. Because everybody was really fired up about this guy, Zion. Yeah. Yeah. So now let me tell tell, tell everybody what you think um, what you think of Zion as like a human being. Is he a good guy? Uh, yes. Yeah. You know what he did after the, uh, when the lockdowns first happened? He donated a lot of his money towards everybody who was, what, working at the, at the arena. like all the vendors and everything else Zion said I'm gonna I'm gonna pay I'm gonna pay for the time that you're off I thought that that was really nice of him there was a little bit of um there's a little bit of issue like people weren't happy I saw on Fox News they weren't happy that Zion is on the cover of 2k21 because he's a rookie and they were thinking that it should have gone to Kobe what do you think about that um, I think they're saying that it should have went to Kobe because Kobe uh, died and he was one of the greatest NBA players to go. And also there's supposed to be three cover athletes so they could still put Kobe on one of well, the Well, they did. Athletes. I think they did like the uh, did, like the Mamba edition or something. Yeah. I don't know. But you know, this, 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 uh, did you see the trailer? Did I show you the trailer? Yeah, I saw every trailer. It was weird. It was weird. It was a little, it was a little out there. It is foretold. It is foretold. Tell like me something about Zion people don't know. He has a younger brother and his name's Noah. Yeah. And I I've been thinking Noah and Zion, they might be from the Bi Bible. They, they actually the they, you even thinking of that? That's funny, his, he's got an older brother named Noah and Anthony and Shiloh, right? And uh, it's interesting because we've been talking about Noah on the show. Did you know that? Yes. So here we got Noah's, his younger brother, and you got Zion. It's just pretty amazing. So Zion, pretty good, uh, you know, is he really, is he worthy of that cover? What do you think as a player? Uh, Maybe not now, but... <laughs> oh, gee, maybe not now? <laughs> because right now... That he's just like a second year rookie. Like, if they put him on the cover, who knows? The first game he can get like an Achilles injury. Oh, right, and right, mess right, up right. His whole career. Yeah, right. But there's a lot of hype about him. Everybody's very excited. The size of a mountain. Well, listen, I'm glad that you came on the show. Thank you, buddy. All right, give everybody a kiss to say goodbye. I'm going to get you out of here. All right, and we're gonna finish the show. We're gonna get into the weird stuff, but you're not gonna come, you're not gonna stay here for the weird stuff. Good. He's not staying here for the weird stuff. Good. All right, get out of here, kid! Okay, so this is what's really weird about this video. 
it, it's like, let me, let me read you the uh, voice. I'm not going to play the video because I don't want to get like a strike. Okay. Every time I would love to play the video because it, it's very, very cool. It starts off by the way with an eclipse. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? So the trailer to this very popular, is going to be a huge game. Pre-order starting on July 2nd. It starts off with this eclipse, then a mountain freezes. And then you just see one thing after another thing. You see a baby in a womb. And you see all of these interesting little symbols like this. In fact, throughout the video, you see strange things like this. And of course, you see the pyramids. The symbolism. So it has this foreboding music. And listen to the voiceover, okay? Now let's let's take the fact that this is a basketball game, all right? Let's take this out of the equation and let's ask ourselves, why is this the voiceover? Let me read this to you. It is foretold. Greatness will walk among us. I've been talking about that, haven't I? It's interesting. One unlike the rest. Interesting. One of one. The size of the mountain with a heart to match. He'll move like lightning, crash down like thunder, with a presence that draws crowds from far and wide. This video is, it's a trailer of like the coming of something or someone. Now, is it Christ? Or is it the Antichrist? That was the question that I had, right? But what was weird was by the end of the video, you know how you watch a video and then it stops, there's this one little clip at the very, very end. That was what I used in the thumbnail. It was this shot right here. Now that shot may look very familiar. It may look a little bit, like if you look at the center, right? Around the NBA, take a look at it again. It looks a little bit like something else that I've talked about on the show. Remember Kanye West, his Jesus is King album? Take a look at that. It's Jacob's Ladder. So what's Jacob's Ladder doing? What's Jacob's Ladder doing on an NBA 2K21 game? And then you take 2K21 and you just break it down numerically, right? The K is the 11th letter. So you got 1-1, one, 1-1, one, 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 smack dab in the middle. I just think that that's cool. But if you look on either side of the Jacob's Ladder, right? You see this, this strange geometric shape. Some would say maybe it's sacred geometry, but you know what it is? I found out. I don't know how I found out. I, I was in, a, I couldn't figure it out. I was looking everywhere for this thing. And then I was praying. I was listening to Melissa Scott talk about something in the book of Revelation. Uh, she's a pastor. And uh, next thing you know, it hits me. Zion. Maybe that's a picture of the great city. So I just go and I do a quick search and this is what I find. Constitution of Man. Yeah, that's right. By Fabre Olivet. This guy, Fabre Olivet, by the way, he is a, uh, you know, some people would call him like a mystic or some people would call him a Gnostic or anything else, but he believed that religion had it wrong. He believed that it was all, that God put the seed of life inside all of us and that eventually what's going to happen is the outward manifestations. He had these the little circles. So the idea is that eventually the truth of who we are created to be is going to be revealed. It's going to be manifested in the earth. So what is that doing on the sides of a Jacob's Ladder in an NBA game? Don't you think it's strange? Now it gets weirder than that. You know all those little weird little letters above it? Take a look. Looks like the word prophetic. That's what I thought, right? But that's not what it is. Of course, I'm not like a linguist. I'm not like a, I'm not like an archaeologist. I don't know how to like decipher languages and ancient texts, but I did a little searching, and of course, I stumbled upon the answer. Those words above that Jacob's ladder in the NBA 2K21, 2K21, those are runes. That's right, runes. Yeah, 
makes a lot of sense now. Stonehenge was in the video. Easter Island was in the video. All of this stuff. Remember at, at uh, Stonehenge, they just did the, uh, the, the big solstice there and they just broadcast it live, right? All of this stuff is just amazing. It's just amazing to me. See, you know, just somebody, you know, you usually get graphic designers and a team of people that do this stuff. But this video with the eclipse happening, with the mountain freezing, with all of this stuff building and all these weird images and this one shadowy figure that was hard for me to catch. I would say it's probably just gibberish looking cool, but the fact that you got the constitution of man on either side of the ladder, the fact that you got rune stones above and below. And you want to know what those rune stones mean? You know, I was, I was hoping it was going to be some cool little secret code. Well, if you take the runes, right, they all have, uh, they have like letter meanings and they have name meanings. You put them together, this is what you get, okay? Now this is what you get. Danielle thought this was really cool. On the top, you have, you have these different, you have these different rooms, okay? So if you take a look at them, right? First one means joy. Second one means strength. Joy and strength comes from separation. Separation signals protection, initiation, standstill, opening. So it's kind of, you know, so it's, it's almost like you could look at this a bunch of different ways, right? You could look at it a bunch of different ways, but one way of looking at it is the fact that what we're going through right now, you know, we've been at a standstill and now, you know, the path is opening up. And then beneath it, it's opening up to wholeness, joy, breakthrough, and growth. Now, the voiceover alone, it's foretold that greatness will walk among us, one unlike the rest, one of one. Christ said, I am the Father, the Father is in me. We are one, one of one. The size of a mountain with the heart to match. He'll move like lightning. Christ comes as lightning from heaven. Crash down like thunder with a presence that draws crowds from far and wide. Could this be like somehow subconsciously? You know, maybe the beast system is talking about the Antichrist. Or could it be the fact that God is signaling to everybody, everywhere, that the day of Christ is at hand and has been foretold. I didn't like the spooky symbolism. I didn't like all the, you know, the, 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 the baby in the womb. All that symbolism speaks of something that is about to be birthed. I thought the video was way too dark and way too spooky and way too yuck. You know, everybody from Kanye West to them, you know, man tries to take the things of God and turns it into their thing, right? Who knows? But still, you got Jacob Slatter smack dab in the middle of NBA 2K21. It doesn't seem right to me. It really doesn't seem right to me. But I, I, I tell you, what does seem right to me is what's happening here. And um, I love each and every one of you for it. So I hope you listen. I hope you uh, subscribe. I hope you share it around. Hope you have the best day ever. And, uh, and don't forget, you know, don't forget you more than you know. Take a second to ask for the truth, no matter what the cost. You don't got to come here. You know, if you want, like I say on the channel a lot of times, you want to come to Jacob's Well you, because you're thirsty, you need a little inspiration, you want to get a little laugh, that's great. But when you leave, you're going to thirst again. This is not the source of life, people. You got the source of life right in you. All you got to do is ask for it. All right? I love you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Jacob Israel. Please hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and share this channel around. If these shows have helped you, Help Jacob to reach more any way you can and have the best day ever.